need some volunteers. We need four volunteers. Uh, you don't have to memorize any lines or anything. Occasionally you'll say a word or two, but uh, we have some volunteers from the audience to come and sit up and join us. Louie. You just stop. <laughs> come on up, sir. Come on up. I think we're good. You're one of the yep. little people. Yeah, I got a girl. Okay, two. Perfect. Sit down, Louie. Um, you know what? Go ahead. No, get Not up. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough one. Oh, no. This game we call Pillars. Yeah. While we're doing improv, every once in a while, we can't find a particular word that we want to say. So what we're going to do is debate. You're going to give us a subject to debate. And while we're in the midst of the debate, we have these pillars of wisdom that are going to help us by filling in various words. So that when basically we touch them on their shoulders, they will say a word, a very profound word, that fits in perfectly with what we're debating. So, I need a subject for a debate. Greenhouse gases. Greenhouse, greenhouse gases. Yes. We're for it. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, against for... farting in a greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> We're against flatulence. Okay. I'm for flatulence and all that stuff. It's funny since you two already have, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza. So, uh, opening arguments. You go ahead. Greenhouse gases. Yeah. Well, yeah. We are certainly for it. Uh, I currently have laughing gas in my greenhouse, and it is a blast. I'm out there constantly. No. How could you be opposed to gases? I mean, seriously, it was the best, best month I've had. I mean, I just breathed in gas and gas and and poison. There was a little poison. Um, I washed that out of my system. I was way better once the poison was You know, gone. Uh, and I love going over to visit your greenhouse because it's a lot bigger than mine, which is actually not even a greenhouse. It's kind of a green garage. But, I mean, it was, it's just wonderful. The whole upbeat personality of breathing in fire, fire as you, I mean, the, the, well, the fire was a bad part. Well, the helium it, caught, you know, but we were hilarious. Yeah, we yeah, talked so awesome. funny. I know. Oh, my God. I was, I was, I was <laughs> Explosions. I mean, seriously, one minute's like, <laughs> I have way too much helium. We are so for it. It's a, it's a party. It's a party. They basically laid out our argument. Gases in the greenhouse need to be monitored. There's a danger here. Just last month, we had a farmer build his greenhouse with hydrogen. A smoker, no less. Do you know where he is now? Long Island. <laughs> Long Island. He started in Augusta. One match, no more block. Next thing he knows, he's in Ronkonkoma. And you know, you liberal-minded thinkers, you and your hybrid cars that are spoons. Spoons. They're just spooning around the road. You think that somehow you're making contributions to the environment, but really you're just... French fries. <laughs> you're making a car that runs on cuddles and love, and frankly, that's disgusting! Yeah. That's right. Oh, well, I'm sorry, but I like our French fry spooning car. I do. I a like spooning. A lot of spooning. people talk about it. They say that car is... Popcorn based because you're not going to believe what we put in the back. I know. A popcorn maker! Popcorn maker. It's hilarious! And it's not even an air popcorn maker, but it's actually made with oil, and this is the best thing. We have green popcorn. Right. And it's all gas powered. Green you know. popcorn, greenhouse gases. What's next? Guinness. Guinness gas? <laughs> you have Guinness gas. Guinness gas is great! In all fairness, I would drive a Guinness car. <laughs> But you know, I, I bet you want to go on to subjects like global warming. I bet you think that the earth is like getting real, real warm. Okay. And everything's going to melt. Let me tell you about this winter. You know. Sparkles. It sparkled all over New England. And we had snow up to our. Waist. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure where your argument is. Waste. Waste. Higher, Heads. higher, higher. Head. Right. We have it on our heads. Right, so our greenhouse gases yeah. are eventually going to make it so you don't have winters like that. Global warming, yes. where was it? That's I what know. I say. Hold on, you know hold where on, it hold was? On, hold it on, was Antarctica. in Antarctica. Antarctica. They were no, laying no, no, out no, no. in the sun. No, 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 no. The no, no. <laughs> counterpoint is obvious, all right? <laughs> when you fill a greenhouse with... Dominican Republic. Dominican <laughs> Republic. You need a big damn greenhouse. <laughs> 
Can we build one that size? No! We're talking small community greenhouses. And the, the community is a big word here. The reason is, is because fill it with the wrong gas. Explosion. <laughs> and explosion. Explosions are good. Now, I think we should make our final argument. <laughs> Would you like to start with the final argument? Oh, of course. Final of argument. course. In defense of the ridiculous note, they're going to gas right. is dangerous, oh. hilarious. Anything that's worth having is. Right? I mean, right, yeah. Yeah, okay. You're going to do it. You can't, can't live your life completely safe. And gases can be fun. They actually make you almost appear funnier. And, <laughs> and your farting is hilarious. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. I say go greenhouse. I say go greenhouse too, because I mean, right now, with your farting and with uh, you know, our trip to Long Island now, everything is going to be great. And we are going to build Star Wars, Star Wars every single day of the week, <laughs> because that just rocks. While it's true. Gas can make things appear funnier. They're wrong on one crucial point. Gas in the greenhouse is not only dangerous, it's... TARDIS. It's TARDIS. And bigger on the inside. And scientific research says that it's... Penguin. Penguin. They're the cause of the global problem. <laughs> we won the debate. I don't think so.